Hello. We're outside today. It's a lovely day, so I thought I'd take the opportunity to actually film some content outside. A little bit of a different scenery. Okay, someone just fell over. Ignore that. I apologize for the lack of video last week. I've had a lot on my plate, a lot of things going on, but we are back with the consistent uploads. Today, I'm gonna be running you through volume four of the wardrobe tour. This is gonna be outerwear. Outerwear is a little bit of a funny one because I thought it meant like jackets and stuff, but apparently it's like shirting and stuff like that as well. So, shirts. <laughs> I'm not gonna show you every single shirt that I own and every single jacket, because that would be a very long video, but I have selected my favorites and we're gonna talk a little bit about each one. But before we start, please make sure you are subscribed. I just hit 3K, which is mental. So thank you guys so much for that, but make sure you're subscribed. Starting off, we have my H&M CDG collab shirt. I really like this one. I love the color. It's a nice deep navy with the silver polka dots running throughout. And I love the irregular print of the polka dots. I think if it was a little bit more uniform, it would look a little bit more boring. But the fact that they look like they've been stamped on. Do you remember those things you had as a kid in like primary school when you would stamp the, the paint onto the paper with like those foam things? That's what it looks like it's been done with. Can you see what I mean? With the slight bits missing and the irregularity of the polka dot. I think it looks really cool. I love this shirt. I love it so much. It's a nice formal looking shirt, I think. It's a little bit more formal, but I really like this one. It's nice to go with some black shorts in the summer. I think it looks really good. I picked this one up from Readdressed Fashion in Nottingham for 20 pounds, which is a ridiculous price, to be honest. Very happy I made the purchase. The buttons are almost pearlescent in the light. They kind of look like an oil spill, which I think is a really cool touch. But yeah, a very nice shirt. Wear this one quite a bit in the summer. It's great. CDG shirt number two. This one is not a collab. This is a Comme des Garçons Homme shirt. I really like the amount of different materials used on this shirt. You've got this kind of thicker flannel material running on the back with this twill, kind of more rough and tough fabric at the top with the contrast stitch, which I think is beautiful. And you've got that same twill in the little corner here, which I think is a great touch with these little bits of string coming out from the back panel, which is really nice actually. I like it a lot. However, one of the main things I love about this shirt is the fact that the collar is rounded, which gives it a little bit more of a feminine look, which then is juxtaposed by the more aggressive coarse materials on the back of the shirt. I've just used juxtaposed in a sentence. My English teacher would be so proud of me. Big up Miss Summers. <laughs> it's also got this weird little tab at the back, which I suppose is used to hang the shirt, but I just, well, I just use this. So I don't really understand the point of this, but it looks cool. But also if someone's behind you, they can just eh, yoink you. Yeah, a really great shirt. Pick this one up from Mailhouse. I actually went to Mailhouse to model this shirt for them. I'll chuck up a photo of me modeling the shirt and uh, decided to buy it because it was that cool. But yeah, paid hundred pound and I don't regret it at all. I think this is absolutely beautiful. I love the colors on it. I love the different materials. It's amazing. Cannot complain, beautiful shirt, 10 out of 10. On to the next. Next up, we have my Art Legacy Box Fit shirt. I'm not gonna to talk too much about this one. I've mentioned this one quite a bit in recent videos, but this one is absolutely amazing. It's a little bit more of a thicker flannel material, which I really like. It is actually a size 48, which I believe is like a medium large. And someone has cropped it as well, meaning that it fits very, very, very boxy, even more than original, which I really like. I'm also a massive fan of the colors on this shirt. I think that the browns, the reds, and the cream all go really well together. And I think it's a really nice shirt for summer. I also love the fit of it. It just fits me perfectly. It's got very nice big sleeves, very voluminous. And I'm a really big fan of these big white buttons. I think they look brilliant. Really, really big fan of this. Nice, simple buttons. See, if I had like different color buttons on this, it would be too much. Nothing much else to say. Got it from Depop, paid 75 pound. Bit of a steal. Seriously nice bit of kit. First Art Legacy piece in my wardrobe as well. Very nice. Can't wait to add some more Art Legacy soon. 
Next up, we have my vintage French chore jacket. I absolutely love this so, so, so much. The color of it is beautiful. The material is also beautiful. I love the construction, the little pleats on the back of the sleeves down here. They look amazing. But one thing, I think it is just too big for me, which is a little bit annoying. I, I really like the oversized fit of it, but I would also either like to sell this and buy a smaller version or double up and just buy a smaller version as well as this because as you'll see if I put overlays up here of me wearing the jacket it is just quite big I do wear it quite a bit though I think the oversized fit goes really nicely with some certain trousers I think it looks brilliant especially if I wear it over a hoodie then it becomes a little bit more of a layering piece and I don't mind it being so big you've got the classic two pockets down here with one big chest pocket up here Classic black buttons. Pick this one up from a glass onion pop-up in Bristol. They kindly invited me over and gave me a little bit of store credit, which is very lovely of them. So thank you very much. Managed to grab this one. Yeah, hopefully I'll be able to find a smaller size soon, but there's a plane. I'm not sure if you can hear that. Just wait, just wait a sec. I'm gonna stop waffling about this now. I think it's beautiful, but smaller size, yes. I reckon I, I, I reckon I need a smaller size, to be honest. Next up, we have my 3AM denim save for your soul denim jacket. I think it is a perfect fitting jacket for myself and it's got a lot of nice details, which I really like. Chest pockets, which are angled slightly differently. You've got a slanted zip pockets down here, which is amazing with this curved seam going round. Now, if we go over to the back of the jacket, we've got some really nice paneling details down here, as well as a secret squirrel pocket down here. No idea what you put in there. Maybe some, some, some celery, something like that, if you're feeling healthy. And the lovely leather back patch as well with 3am denim and save for your soul on there it's also got a double zip which you guys know that i absolutely love i love a double zip i think it opens up so many doors when it comes to layering which is brilliant beautiful jacket love the real tree i do get a lot of wear out of this one as well which is always very nice it's perfect i love it next up we have this vintage levi's denim jacket which i got from vinted for seven great british pounds seven let me explain to you why i think this is the perfect denim jacket it has the perfect amount of fading i think that the color of the denim looks absolutely stunning especially when it's running down the seams and it's slightly more faded just look got some slight distressing on the back here where the seams cross over i just think this is perfect like absolute perfection when it comes to denim jackets the patina on the buttons is beautiful i think that the fading just 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 look at it this is stunning this is a perfect denim jacket in my opinion and i got it for seven quid so ladies gents make sure you scroll on vinted it'll take you a couple hours but i promise you you'll find some absolute bangers i really love to pair this up with a little bit of double denim always looks good in my opinion canadian can canadian tuxedo absolutely no complaints from me she's gorgeous next up we have maybe my favorite jacket on the list this is my arif Ferdas mohair zip up and this is beautiful there's so many things i love about this jacket let me just run you through them nice thick knitted collar which i think looks brilliant with a ykk double zip also looks brilliant and allows you to wear the jacket in many different ways you've also got a little poem on the tag which says i'd lick your wounds and i'd kiss your scars also got the arif Ferdas logo embroidered in here which i actually didn't notice until my mate taron pointed it out to me so thanks taron and then you've got the classic arif butterfly on the nape of the neck. I think that's what it's called, the nape. Like, there, is that the nape? I don't, I've got my laptop here actually, should we go? The nape of the, nape of neck. I've got no Wi-Fi. I've got, I'm playing the dinosaur game though, fellas, so, hang on, now you have one round. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, this is absolutely stunning. I think it fits me perfectly. I got this in a size extra small and the smoothest zip I have ever seen see how creamy that was and yeah it's gorgeous arif you guys know arif because i chat about him so much he's the goat i love him and i'm gonna say it once more love you arif on to the next <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell next up we have my mercha mercha oil spill waterproof jacket now honestly when Mertra sent this one over to me, I was a little bit in two minds about it. I thought that it either could look amazing or could look really tacky. But now that I've got it in hand, 
I love it. I think it's really cool. I think it's a really nice way to elevate a standard black jacket because otherwise, if it didn't have this pattern, it would just be a little bit dull. I think this is a really amazing jacket. It does keep me dry as well. It was absolutely shitting it down about a week ago. Chuck this bad boy on, I'm dry. Beautiful. It is cinchable at the waist, which is really good to give you that cropped look, which we all love. Got the Mertra embroidered logo here. You've also got custom zips with a rubber end with the Mertra logo on, which is also a really cool touch, as well as a fully adjustable hood with the toggles here. And then you've got the Mertra logo embroidered on the nape of the neck. It could be the nape, we still don't know. Yeah, a really nice jacket. The only thing I would change about this is the fact that I wish it had zip pockets. I think zip pockets on a waterproof jacket are really, really useful. Very nice. Thank you, Mertra. Aaron, I love you. You know that though. We say it enough. And finally, we have my newest purchase, which is a Uniqlo trench coat. Now, I did not buy this from Uniqlo. I got it from a charity shop in Swindon for a mighty six Great British Pounds. And this is perfect. The sleeves are a little bit long, which I'm gonna take up. That's why they're folded at the moment. I think this is a brilliant trench coat. It's really lightweight, but it does also come with a liner, which I've taken out at the moment because it's too hot to wear a trench with a liner. But I do think a trench looks really good with shorts. I'll put a little clip up of me wearing a trench with shorts. I think it looks amazing. This will be one that I will probably keep in my wardrobe for the next couple of years, because you can always do with a beige trench, right? I've been looking for one for a while now, and this fits the bill perfectly. I like to just do the top button up, maybe a hoodie underneath, and have that big triangle shape kind of like flowing out. I think it looks awesome, more like a cape than a trench coat, if that makes sense. Also, another thing which I absolutely love about, what the, what the fuck is that? Bit of fluff get off is the buttons. These tortoiseshell buttons go absolutely beautifully with this beige color. I think it's a really, really nice touch from Uniqlo and the big, big pockets. And we love big pockets around here. Yeah, really nice pickup, love this trench. So this will do beautifully for now. And that's everything I wanted to show you. I'm not sure whether I'm gonna stick another section at the end of this video. I might do. So if I do, I'll see you in the next section and this is where this bit will stop. If I didn't put another section on the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. I really enjoy filming outside, so maybe I'll do some more of this in the future if the weather stays good. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and I will see you in the next video. What time? Go on. Sunday, 8 p.m. Thank you very much. See you later. Bye.